The National Basketball Primary School Championship brought together over 100 primary school students to the city. The male and female teams represent the best from each district. This is a, the National Championship, the basketball for primary school. And this is really the grand finale. This is where today will be, where we'll come the number one primary school team in the entire country. You know, this lead up to a lot of tournaments, local tournaments within the district. For example, we will have Belize City Competition, Belize Rural, then the Belize District, so we can find a representative. And once we have, have a representative for each district, they are coming for the, the national championship event, which is, will, is, will be happening today. One Belize City team was prepared for the games and they were confident going in. I expect us to do good because they have a good team on defense and shooting. So what has preparation been like? What did you guys do to prepare for today? Well, we took some layups and passing drills and practices after school. So what about you? You think you guys want to win today? Yes, definitely. So which school do you think will be your biggest competition today? I don't know. <laughs> and we can win all of them. All right. So um, who do you think will be the star MVP today? Um, From your team? Her. You think so? Yeah. All right. How many points do you think you're going to score? A lot. So for sure, Belize Elementary are going to win today. I hope so. Slusher says that the competition represents more than medals. The sport itself has shaped the personal growth of the young student athletes. The expression from the kids face when they're here, they get a chance to, to travel. Most importantly, they get a chance to interact with each other, with other schools. And, and really, we, we try to make this, as much as it's competitive, a, a, a fun event and hope that it's not just about, about winning or being champion, but, but the other stuff that you get from, from, from the competition. We tend to not, not just trying to turn the, the, the kids into super athletes or Olympic athletes, but we're trying to, to, to gear more of turning the kids into a better person, more socially, you know, leaders, you know. They, you know, they, they learn a lot of things when it comes to to being here on the coast. So we're not, we're, our, our, our mandate is basically not to, to deal specifically about the skills itself, but just, just the, other, the other things that will make this young person when it come, leaves primary school could become a better person when they become in college and as, 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 they, as they go on in life. But we're, we're just using sports as that avenue to get through to the kids. Have you seen kids who played basketball at the primary level move on to high school and still engage in it? Oh yes, I see some of the kids are our national team players. They are not in, in track and field in various sports, so a lot of them have excelled, you know. And, and that's a, a very good feeling when you see things like that and encourage you to continue with your program that you're having because we really just... We need to, we, we just love that we, we, we're providing this avenue for our student athletes because maybe if we did not do it, no one would have done it for them. No? So we're, we, we're very happy about the way the, the tournament have been, or the program have been running and the, and the, the results and the success that we have gotten from, from the feedback from the kids, the teachers and the schools. Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrew.